All right, everyone, time to show you the next part of my games collection, and we're going to do today GameCube games. So GameCube, one of the systems I really love. Uh, so many games I put a lot of hours into. A great multiplayer system for couch co-op. It's just so many good titles, a lot that I don't even own that I really, really want, but I'll show you guys what I got right here. All right, so let's start off with... 2002 FIFA World Cup by EA Sports. This is the official game of the 2002 World Cup. It's really neat, actually. It's a good game. There's like, there's actually like powers in the game where certain players have like super shots or super speed, which is very interesting for a realistic simulation style soccer game to have players that have super kind of like super powers in a way that make them a little bit better. Than normal, but uh, you could turn those off too if you don't want those. But uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, lo love this game, really, really fun. And um, I have a, actually have a lot of soccer games on GameCube. Um, next one is 007 Agent Under Fire. Uh, you guys know I love my my uh, James Bond games, Goldeneye and all that stuff. You know. Those type of games. I love these. Um, I played this a little bit. It's one I more recently picked up. But, um, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a really good one uh, for sure. I heard the multiplayer in this game is really, really good. So there's that one. That one's uh, complete as well in the box. Next one I got for all you Disney fans out there. I got a couple games here for you. Disney Sports Soccer. Yes, you guys know I love my Disney games and I love soccer. So combine the two. And you get this game. This is a great game. This is really fun. You pick kind of, it's kind of like Mario Strikers where you pick your captain, you know, Goofy, Donald, Mickey, Minnie, whoever. Um, and then you go up against the other captain with their players. Um, and there are like little powers in the game, you know, wacky, wacky stuff going on. Uh, I think Huey, Dewey, and Louie are the, uh, are the linesmen. So there they hold the offsides flag. So it's pretty funny. Um. I'll have to try and play this sometime on the channel because I really want to. That's what's one I really want to like stream if I can someday. Uh, all right. So next up is another Disney game. It's Donald Duck going Quackers for the GameCube. Uh, there's no booklet with this one, but I do have the case as you can see. Um, I haven't played this game yet. I really have no idea what the gameplay is like. It looks like it's like a 3D platformer, but I'm not sure. Uh, I've kind of been waiting to see, you know, to record it for the channel. So I'll either record the gameplay or I'll just stream it eventually. I don't know if you guys really want to see this, but I figured it could be another Disney game to play. Uh, next up, a game I put a lot of hours into. ESPN MLS Extra Time 2002. Um, you guys know I love, I love soccer and I love MLS. Um, this is one of the only officially licensed MLS exclusive games that ever existed um they don't make like exclusive mls games anymore they just put mls in fifa now but uh this is actually made by konami who make pez so this plays very much like an old pez game uh which is awesome so yeah it's good and it's still good to this day um it had all the officially licensed mls teams that were in the mls at that time and their stadiums. So we're talking, you had the LA Galaxy, you know, you got your New England Revolution, you got your Columbus Crew, your DC United, teams like that, all licensed in the game with their stadiums. So you got Gillette Stadium essentially in the game, you know, because that is where the Revolution still play, and that's where they played back then. Um, it's, it's incredible to have like, you know, all those licenses in there. You know, real players are in the game. It's all real players that were on the rosters at the time. And uh, it's a lot of fun, this game. I put a lot of hours playing this with my friends and stuff. So uh, as an MLS fan, it's so cool to have this game. Uh, MLS Extra Time 2002. Uh, next one we got another soccer game. <laughs> it's FIFA 02. This is an old FIFA game. Probably, you know, one of the last FIFA games I actually, you know, really, really put a lot of hours into. I mean, I owned other FIFA games beyond this, but I didn't keep any of them. Um, this is the only one I've actually kept in terms of like a straight up FIFA game. This one's fun too. This actually has MLS in it as well. You know, that's when MLS was just starting to get into the FIFA games. Um, but they don't have like the full licensing of the stadiums and stuff and all that. 
Uh, this game is pretty ridiculous now, but uh, had a lot of fun with it back in the day. Uh, I used to play the crowd. I think this was the, actually the first GameCube game I owned was this game. Um, and yeah, it's fun. It is fun. It's a fun game, but you know, I don't know how well it hold up today. Uh, but we had a lot of fun playing it before. Next up, F Zero GX. This is another GameCube exclusive. Well, not another, but it is a GameCube exclusive. I don't think I've shown a GameCube. Oh, the Disney Sports Soccer game was a GameCube exclusive as well. So, so is this one. Uh, F Zero. What can you say about this series? Great series. Uh, fantastic games. I own the N64 one as well. Um, this one's might be my favorite one out of the ones I've played. Uh, it's uh, I'm not very good at these games, guys. I, I quite suck at these games, but they're a lot of fun. F-Zero GX. Uh, yeah, you gotta love these guys. I wish uh, Nintendo would bring this series back and give us a new F-Zero, but, you know, who knows. Uh, next up is a game you guys may have seen on my channel, uh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent, another James Bond game. I played through this entire game on the channel. If you want to check it out, go to the GoldenEye Rogue Agent playlist. It's all there, um, full walkthrough of it. Uh, I died a lot because there's some really hard parts in this game. Uh, it's a fun game, though. It really is. Uh, it's a good one, but it was a little tough. And uh, yeah, just the gameplay I have for it. So if you want to check that out, GoldenEye Rogue Agent, uh, pretty good. Pretty long game, too. Uh, next up, Fantastic. Game I put a lot of hours into as well. Hunter the Reckoning. This is a really good game. Really good game. It's four player co uh, couch co op. Uh, it's like a dungeon crawler kind of style, slash, like beat em up. Um, you got different characters. I think there's four different characters, and each has like a special perk to them and how they play and, you know, what, they're, what they can do. Um, you're fighting like monsters, zombies, demons, stuff like that. It's it's so so fun. Uh, really, this series should have a comeback, but they've only made two. I own both of them. The other one I own is on um, the original Xbox that you guys saw, Hunter: The Reckoning Redeemer, in my first video of my collection. Uh, this is the first one. I actually like this one better, uh, but they're both really good. Uh, yeah, I'd love to stream this someday. This game is incredibly fun. Uh, great couch co-op game. Uh, speaking of great couch co-op games, we have NBA Street Volume 2. Wow, this game <laughs> puts so many hours into this one. This one is fun as hell. Uh, you got you know all your modern teams to like classic players. You can create your own teams. Great modes, great courts, great fun. Uh, fantastic controls and gameplay. This game just, I put so many hours. This is such a good game. Um, NBA Street Volume 1 is okay. NBA Street Volume 3, you know, those are cool games. But this is, NBA Street Volume 2 is the pinnacle of the series. This is so good. Um, you're not going to beat this. For a street ball game, it's as good as it gets. Uh, so fun. Uh, another great game. Oh my, I mean, there's just a great game after great game here on the GameCube. NHL Hits 2002. I can't tell you how many hours I've put into this game. Plenty over the years. Uh, this is a game everybody loves that's played it. Uh, it's hockey with no rules. It's basically NFL Blitz, but for hockey. But only way better than any NFL Blitz game. This game is incredible. Uh, I just played it not too long ago. Still is so much fun. Uh, I just It's just one of those games that you can always just put on and just have a good time. And just, you know, beat the crap out of each other. And so many great game modes in this as well. NHL Hits 2002. They made a Hits game after this one. But it wasn't nearly as magical as this one. This is the one to get right there. Uh, next up is another Disney game. Disney's PK Out of the Shadows. I, shoot, I showed this on a pickups video once. Um, I'm actually like two-thirds through this game. I might post these this series eventually uh so again it's just the gameplay but i might you know start posting it for you guys to check out the walkthrough um basically it's it's a 3d platformer uh it's pretty fun it's not like amazing but it's you know it's kept my attention for sure and uh yeah it's it's pretty good it's worth checking out for sure pk if you're wondering is like an alternate ego of donald duck so 
Next up is probably my pride and joy of my GameCube collection. One of the pride and joys of my entire game collection. Because this is one of my top five favorite games of all time. And it's Sega Soccer Slam. <laughs> and if being Town Hero, if you're watching, you know how good this game is. Um, this is one I've put an insane amount of hours in. I've played... <laughs> I've almost mastered this game. I can play this game on the hardest difficulty now and hold up and even win matches. And I've won cups in this game on the hardest difficulty with my friends and everything. Um, I'm, I'm not the best at the game, but I can certainly play at the highest level, you know, if I want to. But um, it's this is one of the funnest games of all time. It's just incredible. You don't even have to like soccer to like this game, but. The fact that I love soccer just makes it that much more fun. It's got crazy, wacky, cartoony characters all on, you know, teams that are made up in the game. You know, there's team names and there's, you know, specific characters for those teams. And then there's like, there's power-ups. You can punch each other. So there's no fouls or anything. You know, there's super kicks. Gameplay is really fast-paced, really good. Controls are amazing. Graphics are great. The arenas are great. The announcer is great. Just everything about this game is so much fun. You go through a quest in this game with your buddies, and there's nothing like it. There's really nothing like it. I used to just play this, do quests with my friends all the time. We'd play the entire quest in one sitting. Um, it would take a few hours, but uh, it's, just, oh, it's just so much fun. Games can get really intense, especially in the playoffs. Um, you know, I what, what can I say about this game? If you don't own this game... It's certainly worth getting. There's a version on the original Xbox um, that is good, but not as good as this one. This is the one you want. If you have a GameCube, get this game. You won't regret it. Play it with your friends, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, your dads, your dog, your pet rock. Just play the freaking game. Uh, next up, we have Smashing Drive. This game kind of sucks, but it kind of has a charm to it as well. Some of the games that suck have a charm to them. Uh, this game I actually used to rent a lot, believe it or not, but uh, I eventually bought it. The music's so bad, it's great. Uh, it's really hard, I can't even get by like the second or third level. But uh, my brother and I used to play this a lot, Smashing Drive, I don't know why. It's kind of like Crazy Taxi, but a lot worse. So think of Crazy Taxi, but a version that kind of sucks. And you got Smashing Drive. But, there's a charm to it, like I said. And uh, the music, again, the music is, is killer. <laughs> Smashing Drive. Go out and get that one, all right? Next up, we got Super Mario Strikers. Of course, this is another GameCube exclusive. Another excellent game I have. You guys saw I have the sequel on Wii. This is the original one. I say this one slightly... I don't know if it's better. It's easier to pick up and play than the Wii one. Let's just put it that way. The Wii one's a little bit harder to get used to and master. This one's easier to pick up and play. Um, I remember getting this game on one of my birthdays. And I absolutely loved it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this game's so much fun. Um, yeah, another great couch co-op game. Mario and soccer, you can't go wrong there. Super Mario Strikers. Fun, fun game. Uh, next up we have... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the GameCube. I haven't played this one in a long freaking time. It's it's like a beat em up dungeon crawler style. Um, it's a two player game, co op. Um, pretty fun. I think I'm pretty sure I beat this game before. There's actually like three of these games on GameCube. I've only played this one, so I'd be interested to get the second and third in the series. Um, so this is um. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a Turtles game, Konami, you know, uh, not my favorite Turtles game, but I'd like to play it again and see what it's like, because I don't really remember. Another game, the last one I'm going to show you guys is another one that's one of my absolute favorites on the system, possibly even a top 20 of all time. This game is so good. It's another GameCube exclusive, and it's Wario World. Uh, yeah, this game is just so well done graphics gameplay uh it's a mix between like a 2d and 3d platformer you know there's i don't even know how to explain this game it's really weird like you use wario obviously to like fight villains and collect stuff and you know there's 
it's it's hard though. I've never beaten this game. It actually gets really hard. Um, this is one I dream of streaming, so I can you know commentate and have fun with you guys while we play it, and you can help me try and beat the game because I'd love to sit down and actually beat this game. It's so good. I used to play this all the time with my brother, just switching off. Uh, like I said, it's just one of my favorite GameCube games, possibly one of my favorite games all time, and you know for top 20, top 25. I have a lot of nostalgia with this game for some reason. You know, I think it's just because a good times with one of my brothers. Um, there's like you know little mini levels inside the levels too. It's great. It's a great looking game. It's just uh, you know give it a try for sure if you like 3D platformers at all. You know if you're you're a fan of like Mario 3D World or some of the newer Mario games, like you'll probably really love this game, Mario World. Uh, give it give it a look. It's it's great. So there we go, guys. There's my GameCube collection. Uh, not sure what'll be next on the next part, but uh, you know, guess you'll have to wait and see. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Stay safe. Until next time, zero is the number.